Yeah, he did. It, it was in a... Um, um, it was SCR, right? It was. You, I think you were gone, like, in some other tournament or something. No, no, right? was it Revelation? Revelations? Revelations, that's oh, what I think it was. It was. Right? Oh, yeah. okay, okay. That's when there was, like, another tournament going on. Yeah, Maybe that was CEO. CEO, CEO there yeah. You go. Like, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, right, yeah, yeah. that's right. All right, so, yep, it's what we thought. It's going to be two, um, you know, hybrid Vortex footsie characters. Yep. I'm the last fucking... Kuma can, Kuma can do... There's a knockdown sequence that puts you into a mix-up, and any result of that mix-up puts you in that same, same mix-up. Yeah, over and over and over again. And, like, you'll start to see what happens with Akuma very quickly, because yep. Ita is a master at the Akuma Vortex. It's oh. kind of a goofy name now that I think about it, but it's so, like, normal to me now that right. I don't really think about it. Because, like, Abuki has the Vortex, which is you're seeing right now, yeah. this knife block down. But the thing about it is, it's not even really much of a vortex because it's either the knife is on the left or the knife is on the right. Well, oh, there's, there's other jumping uh, setup she has. Right. That's not it. Nice block from Ata there, and Ata gets uh, gets out, but he's down on health. He is, so he's gonna have to make a. Oh, Ooh. wow, good punish. Dude, I like that dash right under those air yeah. fireballs and catch him before he lands. He he's just a funny guy too. Like he loves fighting in the U.S. Like oh he, really? He has a great time. He loves uh big uh, matches that are not on stream for fun, you know? You know, I mean, the thing is, you talk to all the Japanese players who have come to EVO throughout the years, and whenever you ask them what their favorite tournaments to play in, it's always EVO. They always answer EVO. Hey, because this, this is where the magic happens. Yeah. Yeah. Even Daigo says, like, when he comes to America, he's treated more like royalty here in America than he is in Japan. Oh, man, we love him here in America. Yeah. I'm a Daigo fanboy, too, man. Here's and here's that Vortex. Oh, did he catch oh, the back dash? Wow. Clakey D is like rolling his eyes so hard right there. And you know Clakey D was the recipient of Tokido's Tokido pose. Oh, that's what we Yeah, oh, that, at SCR. When Tokido got up and did, stood in front of the projector to get the symbol on his wow. back. Wow, you know why I remember that too? Because like we were talking right before the match and we were like, discussing what he's going to do. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to whoop him. And then it was like the pose. And yeah. I, like, uh -huh. I kind of just didn't talk to him for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I think we stopped becoming friends. <laughs> but here we go. One match up. About even in hell for all. But the meter advantage is to a rookie. He's going to nice. do. Oh, Oops. no. That had to have been an execution mistake, Definitely. but not punished for it, though. But still, losing all that meter, and he did lose the momentum thanks to that. Oh, Ooh. man, this downward spiral. One super by accident. You see Clakey shaking his head. I look at Ada, it's like, <laughs> yep. oh, he's he like, said, you're done. done. Yeah, he said, you're done. Don't, yeah. don't fight me at EVO and be doing random supers <laughs> like that. That's, that's brutal. That's how brutal this game is. You make one technical error in this game and you're usually dead. Well, I always say like Marvel is more kind of like basketball where you can count turnovers but you can win despite them. Yeah. Street Fighter is more like baseball in that you the errors are so intense that you count the errors and that will be a significant stat to who wins. That's true. Oh, he tried to make it under. Couldn't quite do it. Here we go. Got to beat that teleport. Oh, missed it. And of course, Akuma's teleport has no startup, it's all recovery, and it, uh, Abuki does have the options to beat it. It's just hard to tell which direction he teleports. Right. And you, you can't visually look at it and then input. Um, oh, wow. Right, the startup animation is the same yeah. for both so directions. Yeah, so you have to guess. You have to guess which direction he's going. There is a couple of option selects for certain characters that'll let you cover all yeah. options, but very hard. Oh! Did he leave that? Combo, yeah. And he oh, got him he from got the front. It. Clakey D back in action. Don't drop those combos there. And yep. Clakey D taking round one over Ada in the second game. Nice recovery there. I mean, after losing that last game, it could be very discouraging, like you said. So much of this game is about psychology and emotion. Right. Emotionally, that's very big for him because, like you said, he came back from that kind of, like, heartbreaking loss and he fought good. So he's, he's doing it fine. It didn't stir him up, which you could be worried about if you're, right. you know, somebody out there rooting for Clakey D. Oh, nice teleport to get away, but see, there Clakey should have option selected to chase that teleport, and he did not do it. Right, but 
like like I was saying, you know, if you think he's gonna go behind you, right. you can't just option select. You won't get anything. So it's weird. Usually option selects the tail just doing one thing, but with hers, you right. almost have to visually see what's going on. That's what makes Akuma so Beautiful. potent, but look at that. That was all Clay KD. Meaty slide. That looked very punishable. And then Clay KD took that to his advantage and did the uppercut there. Baited Ada into touching a button. I am a huge, huge slide hater. <laughs> <laughs> I think slides are the worst uh, invention in Street Fighter. More than dive kicks? No. But they're close. <laughs> but they're close. Oh, you must have hated Sodom back in Alpha Alpha One and Two. Adon and Sodom. Well, Adon didn't have a slide, but he had a, like a weird dive kick in Alpha Two. Right. Yeah, those characters were brutal. <laughs> more like Sim and ST. That oh, was yeah. my most hated character. Hey, he had he has a slide and the dive and kick. The so. <laughs> well, here we go. Nice. Clayke's getting in there. Oh, a focus to get out of that situation. Yeah. He just ate that left palm to the face and didn't punish it. Oh, here we go. He's going to be able to grab him. Oh, oh, that could have finished it right there with a rider. And then he gets caught by a demon flip. Oh, man, they're scrapping. And uh, Ita got the better of it. I'm surprised that Clayke didn't yeah. finish it in the corner right there. It was a simple half like, circle back and punch. It looked like he tried. He came out with crouch eight, crouch hard punch instead. But here we go. A great round. Close to Dizzy for Akuma. Nope. No, that's not going to work. Now he should be dizzy oh, with one more hit. Oh! Very lucky by Ita. Uh-oh, here, look at oh, this momentum oh, shift. This is a huge momentum shift right here. Oh, okay, got him. Quick. Teleport, yep, and yeah, he's ready that time. Yeah. Teleport again. Because no one's going to yep. teleport back into the corner. No! Oh, and that's what I'm saying. You look right. at it, then do it, and you get punished. Here we go. Oh, wow. wow. Auto-correct uppercut right there. You know, in case... Oh, we, we, I'm looking at Clay D and he's like, his mouth, he's like really tense. You can tell he's like clenching his teeth as he's fighting right now. He really wants to win this. And he is part of Team Marn. Oh, is he part of Team Marn now? Is, yeah. Oh, wow, that's right. And obviously Clay D is actually a very powerful... Wow, wow he's going to get perfect on Ito. Ten that's it. Woo! Winner is perfect by Clay Kidd. Wow, Clay D getting a perfect... All right, so uh, you know we got a little treat for you guys, and uh, if you're just tuning in, or if you you know weren't paying attention because of how fast that went, we're gonna go ahead and run it back for you. Yeah, so let's gonna, watch that yeah. perfect sequence once again. And was, let, let's take a look what happened here. That was a beautiful I mean, sequence. Guys. Those, this is the way those vortex characters work. They get two mix-ups on you, and then one more hit usually knocks you dizzy, yes. and then they get the whole sequence. Right, it's not. It's, it's like a perfect. Very common, actually, right. what happened, and it, it's just more uh, pronounced for Sakuma, who's low health. Right. So look at this is corner. Get, okay, a crumple. He yep. starts it off of a crumple. EX, up kick, the mix up. Oh, and then he baits out an uppercut. And you know, those uppercuts are always the sign of players when they get desperate. Desperate. I mean, you gotta do something though, James. Yeah. Like, sometimes you just gotta do it. Yeah, but sometimes the best thing to do actually is just to control yourself. You know, control your, uh, control your desire just to come out with that wake up uppercut. Because when you're in that mode where it's like, I just gotta do something. You know, then your opponent says, you know what, he's going to do something. <laughs> you're right. This is what you were talking about, getting your opponent to do something yep. they feel like it's the right thing, but yep. it's not. So he baited it out with that backdash and ended up knocking him dizzy off of that. Clay KD 